I have always done art as long as I can um, can remember. I'm going as far as oh second grade. You know, I, I can recall receiving uh, uh, paintings from um, my sixth grade teacher that I had done in the second grade, where the um, I guess the uh, teacher had uh, had kept them, thought they were of uh, some quality, so uh, I wound up receiving them back about the time I was uh, when I was in the sixth grade. I am um, a primarily known for landscape painting. My medium is oils, um, usually just oil on linen. I um, started oil painting as far back as the um, uh, when I was about about 13 years old just inspired to, um, um, to try it, I guess. My technique is um, um, kind of an old master style of painting uh, with a little bit of a Hudson River School uh, blended in, and maybe with a, um, a bit of a, um, a little bit of an impressionist uh, palette mixed into it as, as well. I'm primarily still leans towards an old master style of thin layers of paint. Everything is hand stretched. Uh, I'm still using copper tacks for my, uh, when I'm stretching the canvases. Very old master style of uh, painting. For my uh, Dahan project, it has been the Indiana leg of the, um, the historic sites for the Underground Railroad. I had um, picked um, five different locations I wanted to focus on in the Indiana area, and I'm still actually working on that process. One of the things I like about the, pro the project is I'm constantly learning new things about who was involved with the Underground Railroad here in Indiana, uh, from the Quakers being uh, playing a very big part in the Underground Railroad. So it's really been really more of a, um, of a learning process for me, an educational process um, for me than, than, than anything really, so. I'm anticipating doing uh, some oh, 25 to 30 paintings, and there may very well be a second exhibit because there's hundreds of Underground Railroad sites. And um, the more I research and learn about the um, various sites, uh, it becomes difficult to leave out uh, so many um, uh, very interesting uh, locations and then learning about the um, uh, the people involved um, has been such an education. I was having a conversation with one of my clients concerning um, um, what you're being taught in school concerning the Underground Railroad and me as an African American and he as a uh, Caucasian person, our education concerning the Underground, Underground Railroad it was just night and day. So um, um, it's been a big education for me to learn about people like Levi Kaufman or Pastor John Rankin um, over in Ohio and the Quakers' involvement and um, just some of the involvement that I didn't learn about when I was uh, you know, elementary school and high school. You didn't learn about those particular um, you know, individuals. You no, know, I always learned something, uh, something new. So there's always the importance of the history behind the site, as well as um, how it's going to work with my overall project. And the overall project is to do um, is actually landscapes of the um, of the historic sites of the Underground Railroad, the uh, Levi Coffin House. Um, was a somewhat outside of that framework, but I thought it was one of the more important um, and key historic sites here um, in Indiana. So that was one of the uh, first pieces that I um, decided to do. And um, I wound up actually doing, uh, working on two pieces for that. And you know, that piece is, uh, one of the pieces is, is here, um, piece behind me here of the house. I've been working on this Underground Railroad project for, for over, um, really over seven, about seven to eight years. What the award um, allowed me to do was, it assisted in the research and my project for the um, Indiana 
area. Uh, my project, uh, I'm, I'm doing paintings in Ohio, um, uh, Maryland, um, um, Michigan, so, so, um, and all the way up far up as Canada. So the award has uh, greatly assisted me here in, uh, in, in Indiana for that leg of the project. It also has assisted me in uh, preparing for my presentation for uh, my main exhibit. 